This video talks about natural killer cells with an example and how it is derived from the naive T cells. Now the question says, if there is no MHC class 1 um, on intestinal cells, what will happen to them? Now we know that MHC class 1 binds to T cell receptor and as a result the cytotoxic T cells then are able to kill those um, MHC class 1 bound molecules because we we recognize that there is some sort of pathogen inside that cell. But we have no MHC class 1, then how can T helper cell bind? Um, T, cytotoxic T cells bind. In those situations, we need natural killer cells. If there is no MHC class 1 or MHC class 2, our last resort is our natural killer cells, which is going to kill those um, cells which we cannot recognize as cell. So let's talk about how natural killer cells come into being compared to other T helper cells. So imagine that this is our um, naive T cells, T helper cells 0. Now T helper cell 0 has been converted to T helper 1 and T helper 2. And how is it happening? T helper 0 is converted to T helper 1 when there is an intracellular pathogen. Okay, intracellular pathogen kind of stimulates the production of T helper 1 cells. And this is achieved by two cytokines. IL-12 and interferon gamma. So remember these two cytokines, they're important. IL-12 and interferon gamma. And what about T helper 2 cells? T helper 2 cells are usually for extracellular pathogen. And they're usually made when there is a lack of T helper 1 response. So when there is lack of interferon gamma and IL-12, we're going to have T helper 2 cells. And this is achieved by IL-4. Now we have T helper 1 here and T helper 2 here. Now T helper 1 makes three cytokines, IL-2, interferon gamma, and TNF. What about T helper 2 cells? It makes a bunch of cytokines, IL-4, 5, 6, 10, 13, and TGF beta. Now these cytokines, which are made by T helper 2 cells, really defines it as T helper 2 cells. So when we have a cell and it's producing IL-4, we know it's T helper 2 cells. There is no other way of determining that. We can only determine what kind of T helper it is by looking at the specific interleukin or cytokine. So these interleukins by T helper 2 cells can go and stop the T helper 1 cells. Okay? It can go and stop T helper 1 and vice versa. The components secreted by T helper 1 cell can go to the uh, to the T helper 2 cells and stop the release of those cytokines. So they kind of there's a feedback mechanism going between the two. If there is intracellular pathogens, T helper 1 will proliferate, T helper 2 is will downregulate. If there is a T helper 2 proliferation because there's an extracellular pathogen, then the intracellular um, intracellular pathway or the intracellular T helper 1 cells uh, pathway is going to be inhibited. So those are the T helper 1 and T helper 2 cells. T helper 1 cell is made in the presence of a pathogen. T helper 2 cells is present in an absence of a pathogen for, for preparing itself for extracellular pathogen. Now, what about natural killer cells? Natural killer cells are also stimulated by the same interleukins as our T helper 1 cells, which is IL-12 and interferon gamma. So IL-12, interferon gamma, this also stimulates our natural killer cells. And those natural killer cells is going to go and will be able to kill those intestinal cells where there is no MHC class 1. Which, if there was MHC class 1, then the cytotoxic T cells would have been responsible for killing those cells. Now that's how the natural killer cells come from naive T cells. Now let's talk about... Um, now, we already talked about the activation of natural killer cells. They're activated by IL-12 and interferon gamma. Same activation for T helper 1 cells, okay? What about maturation? It do, do not need thymus, okay? Um, so, maturation do not need thymus, um, do not need... Um, uh, intracellular pathogen. It does not need an intracellular pathogen for it to mature. So they do not need uh, thymus for maturation. They do not need exposure to an antigen for it to proliferate or for it to be produced. And they have no memory ability. These, they are just blind 
bombs they're ticking bombs okay they don't need any kind of specification you just blow them up whenever you want what about markers do they have CD4 no what about CD8 no CD8 is not a marker for them what about CD3 CD3 is in everywhere not even that one so what kind of marker do they have they have CD16 and CD56 so now that's my interpretation of natural killer cells. They're activated by interferon gamma and IL-12. They do not need uh, maturation in the thymus. They have no specificity, specificity when it comes to antigen. They don't need exposure to an antigen to mature. They have no memory ability and their markers are CD16 and CD56.